Hello ladies and gents, uh, welcome back to Intersection 5. This time we're going to go to follow the fluffy bunnies of joy. Hello Mr Pigman. Just passing through. And hide for a second. Okay. <clears throat> if you're doing a video, don't forget extra torches or do spiffy night vision post editing. That would be Z Stone. More torches. Uh, fluffy bunnies of joy. Extra torches. Many torches. Huh. There's a lot of spiders there. Oh. Okay. Well, crap. Okay, I see. There's a spawner there. Hang on. Let's do it this way. Let's see what's in there. It's a creeper spawner. I assume this one's the same. Yep. Oh, the spawners are coming from up there. Ooh. <laughs> Well, that's pleasant. Oh my god, would you look what's up through the walls? Okay. Taking out these human spawners, because that's what they are. Alright, taking out those spawners, so let's go in, shall we? Let's take... Ooh, sneaky. What's back through here? Just space for them to spawn on. Okay, so I've made myself a little stairway, and now I need to figure out which way I'm going. Um, well, I've got since I've got to take out both of them, really, haven't I? Okay, we're going after those spawners. We need to make sure that the world is well lit, so they don't spawn inside here. Oh look, there's a spawner there. Can I get to it? Why, surprisingly, yes I can. Ha ha. That makes things a bit easier. Taking out this spider spawner that I finally got to. Okay, this is getting towards being easy with only being attacked by creepers and zombies. I think I've taken all the other spawners out. It's only the darkness that is my enemy at the moment. Can I get those from here? Yes, I can.
Okay. Uh, hands up who's not convinced about this place. Okay. Slow and steady. Okay, going round again. Seems like a maze, to be honest. Okay, nearly at the end of this tunnel. Uh, it looks like it's going to spit off again. But if I figure if I just keep on doing this and try and avoid being exploded, which is not a mean feat, it'll all turn out fine. Do zombie pig men not die in fire then? Right, what I can see right down there is some kind of shaft. Shafts are good. <laughs> Oops, flooded the whole column. Okay, here we go. Back down. Nothing here. There's going to be something down here. Let's check this one out first. Nope, nothing there. Going outside, are we? Troll? Troll. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um. Right, I guess that's where the creepers are coming from.
Okay. Not terrible. Okay. Time to get some more gear again. Okay, here we are again. Um, building my shelter. Trying not to fall off. I see there are spawners back there <laughs> that's clever I like that that's clever it's not gonna work but it's clever chest at the front. Maybe not the chest at the front, maybe I just go get a chest. Okay. I've got all the arrows out of the first three. Hi! Question is, do I have to get through there? Or is it going to make any difference whatsoever? Wow, look at that! Look at all those burning arrows! That's kind of awesome! Right, chest. Me, zombie pig man, for killing your brethren. Are oh, you fucking kidding me? Nah, fuck it, run. It's not like I don't know where it is. Okay. On the home straight. Easy enough if time consuming, I think. Alright then. Time to place the blue wool. Oh, it's a pretty rainbow. Okay, we've just got the diamond block left and the red and the black. Now, I've been reading the forums. Um, and I know that the red and the black wall are sort of in the same place. However, they said you had to go through fluffy bunnies of doom in order to get it. And I know the diamond block, or the diamonds, are somewhere sort of in between that. So, my issue is where the hell am I looking for those things in fluffy bunnies of doom? My only thought is through the arrow room. Now I don't know if that's accurate or not, but I suppose that's where I'm going to go next. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.